Hey everyone, uh, my name's Andy. My channel's Finding Value. If you like this content, please subscribe, click the thumbs up button, leave some cool comments. If this is a little bit too advanced, let me know, put it in the comments section what you think. Uh, you're gonna lose me. I wanna jump into this presentation here uh, and, and it's gonna be a little bit more advanced. So uh, understanding ratio. So ratios provide leverage to price movements. Uh, when that ratio declines, it's acting as a supply demand uh, function. It's, it's showing us that money is flowing from one ratio or from one asset into another asset, compressing that ratio against each other. I know that's, that's a lot to think about. So the declining ratio acts as leverage to, to the gold price. So if it's a platinum to gold and platinum's outperforming gold, and gold is outperforming the Dow or the money supply. So gold's going up, but platinum is going up at a faster rate than gold. So platinum is going up at a much faster rate than the Dow or the money supply. That's what the leverage is. You're leveraging the, the price of gold over whatever gold is leveraged to, which is either gonna be the money supply or the Dow. When price moves and your ratio stays the same, it's only a one-to-one -one ratio. It's, you're only gaining the price. So if platinum equals the gold price and they move up in tandem together, you're only getting the gold price revaluation. So uh, we can get outsized returns investing in some commodities if we look at historical ratios to see which ones are levered the most. And that's what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look to see which commodities are leveraged the most to gold. Because if gold's gonna be in a bull market and it's gonna go higher, we can also be in a commodity that's leveraged to gold. Then we can be in a producer that's leveraged to that commodity, which is leveraged to gold, which is leveraged to the Dow and money supply. So the current natural gas price, I'm gonna use this as a quick example. The natural gas price is 2.651 thousand cubic feet. It's 2,651 per million cubic feet. Gold price is roughly 1881 per ounce. What you do is you divide this by this, uh, and it, it takes roughly 1.4 ounces to buy 1 million cubic feet of natural gas. It's never been this cheap, and here it is on the natural gas to gold ratio chart. This is to 94. We're at one. This was on a one-to-one -one or even cheaper than one-to-one -one, uh, but in early 2020 during the COVID scare. What this is telling us is that this is exceptionally cheap. Now, I'm just going to tell you, if, if this was at one, and we were to go back to a 35, where this is 35 ounces, takes, takes 35 ounces to buy 1 million cubic feet of natural gas. And this one were to go back higher, what that means is that you are leveraged to the price of gold by 35 times. If you were to go from a one to back to a 35. That means that if gold did a double, you did 70 times your, your return in natural gas. If this went back to 35, the same time gold uh, doubled. Does that make sense, hopefully? So this is a leverage bet. Now, if you're in natural gas, natural gas producers are struggling right now. They are absolutely struggling. Some of them are on the brink of bankruptcy. Uh, and now if, if we can get a natural gas price to come back, and I'll show you that it is coming back, the ratio is coming back, the price is coming back, uh, we could be buying into these things at extreme low valuations, extreme low, 100-year lows. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you which of these commodities are at extreme valuations later on. So we are seeing extreme valuations in oil, natural gas, uranium, uh, to the extreme downside, even platinum and silver uh, as well. Most of the stocks are showing bottoming formations and breaking down trends. We can see that in our technical analysis. Prices are recovering uh, some of the actual commodities. Natural gas is recovering, oil is recovering. Silver's going higher. Gold's already gone higher. The ratios are turning up for each of these commodities. And I'm gonna show that in a different video on a, on a ratio update video to show you all of the, the real time what these ratios are telling us. So what asset will return the most? We can look at analysis and I, and I, I, I did a Excel spreadsheet here. Uh, hopefully I can uh, explain this well enough for you guys to understand. So on the, on the left-hand axis, this is the y-axis, uh, these are prices of platinum. This is the platinum price. This is the ratio on the bottom. These series, what I've charted each line here, 
This is the gold price at $2,000. This is the gold price at 5,000, 10,000 and 15. And what I'm doing is this is the platinum price for a $2,000 gold price, if that makes sense. Now, what happens here is that gold price is gonna go higher and platinum is gonna, is gonna outperform gold. So what you're going to do is if we have this ratio compress and the price of gold goes up, we're gonna be jumping up these series and if the gold, if gold goes, so I'll give an example. If gold's 2,000, we're on this line. If gold goes to 5,000, we jump up a line. And if we're still compressing the ratio, we're moving to the right-hand side. So what this is telling us is the compression is worth this much, but as gold goes higher, that leverage to the price goes up at a steeper rate, if that makes sense. So I'll give you an example. Go, um, the price of platinum right now is $900. I put a thousand, this is roughly a thousand dollars right now. Now, if we compress to three, which means that gold goes up six times in relationship to, to gold, platinum goes up six times in relationship to gold, and the price of gold goes up to 15,000, we're gonna jump these series up and compress at the same time, which gets us a value, uh, a, a platinum price of 45,000 per ounce. That's, that's where it would be at a three times the price of gold at a $15,000 gold price. So what this is showing us is it's just showing us the leverage that we get as gold price goes higher and as the ratio compresses as we move to the right-hand side. This is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna go down to uranium price and this is flipped in the opposite direction. This is a high ratio over here means this is cheap and we move to the left. I know this is, I couldn't get this to plot the other way. Again, this is gold price at 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, and 15,000. We're at a 62 to one ratio, so right over here. As we move and this ratio compresses to gold, we're probably gonna be jumping up as gold gets more expensive in dollar terms. So we're gonna start at the $2,000 line, and then eventually we're gonna be popping up like this as we get more expensive and more expensive in relationship to gold. Now, right now, it's saying that the price is 30-ish dollars. But if we're compressing the ratio and gold's going up at the same time, because remember, every single bull market in uranium, gold price has gone up at the same exact time. There has not been a scenario where uranium price went up and gold didn't go up. That would be a complete anomaly. So if gold goes to, to 10,000, which is a good guess, and the ratio compresses to 10, we are now at $1,000 per pound if that were to happen. And what that is, it's inflation, because this is, a, this is an inflation adjusted number, so to speak, and, and that is what the price would end up being if we went from 60 to a, ra to a ratio of 10. Now at the bottom of the bull markets, it's been more like five or three. And if we hit a $15,000 ratio, we're now way up here. We're at $15,000. This is a 15,000, we're at $5,000 per pound if we went from a, to a three to one ratio at $15,000 gold. But another thing to look at is whenever you, these get steeper like this, it means that you have, a, you have greater leverage to price movements. That's what this, these, these large kind of turnups are. Platinum isn't nearly as leveraged as uranium is. So uranium is a much larger leverage by looking at this chart. Now I'm gonna go down to oil. You can see that oil is also very leveraged as it really turns up at the, ends, at the end of the ratio. And again, this, pro this projection here, if we were to go to $5,000 gold in a one to 10 ratio, that's $500 oil. If you go to 10 grand, it's $1,000 oil. If it goes to 15 grand in a, in a very low one to five, that's $3,000 oil. And you're gonna say, oh, that's impossible. No, it's not. Every single time, in history, gold's gone higher, and that ratio's been around one to six. So I think gold has a high probability of hitting $10,000 in 10 years or so, or, or five years, or whatever it may be. And we have this ratio decline to five, or six, or seven. So we'll probably be in this $1,500 per, uh, per barrel oil range, possibly. I don't know. But remember, everyone's looking at it at, in today's dollars, not in future dollars, which are inflated.
They're not looking at the inflation. And this is what gold's doing is it's taking that inflation away. Now, if we don't get that, if we're at 5,000, if we go to $5,000 gold and it compresses 10 to one, that's $500 oil roughly. That's still a very large number. Now here's natural gas and you can see this one has massive leverage. If we get a compression in the ratio and it goes far higher, uh, yeah, it, it, it's gonna go berserk. Uh, so again, this is per million cubic feet, it's a little bit more difficult, but it's got massive leverage when this thing gets moving. And if you look at these, the, the, the most leverage, uranium's very leveraged, oil's very leveraged, and it looks like natural gas is even more leveraged. It's probably the most leveraged. So I'm gonna jump back into this clip here. Uh, the conclusion here is platinum, the potential leverage based off of history is about six times. And that could be exceptionally low because we haven't gone into the industrial side where they want to ramp as much platinum use up in this green revolution as they want to. We have never seen that, that type of demand come. So that could be far lower than what it really is. Silver potential is 10X plus. Again, that's based off history. We've got massive, we're talking about using platinum silver 10 times the amount that they want to use that's currently in total production. 20 times for silver. I, we haven't seen that demand for anything like that. Oil, potential 10x leverage. Uranium, potential 13x leverage. And natural gas is between 15 and 23 times leverage uh, because it was so incredibly cheap and is still incredibly cheap. I know these numbers sound absolutely ridiculous. I get it but it's happened in history and everyone's going to say well if gold doesn't go up gold has gone up every single time these have gone up if gold doesn't go up these don't go up because it's they're all tied together the central banks they they purposefully manipulate the precious metals to control all of these prices it's all baked in now the longer they control it the more disruptions you'll get in terms of supply, which means that on the backside, the higher the prices will go. COVID has really destroyed the supply side of natural gas and oil and silver and platinum. It's destroyed some of that stuff pretty bad. This stuff has been down for a while, especially oil and natural gas and even uranium. The supply side's getting destroyed. And now if you look out into the future and you look at the demand for uranium, for silver, for platinum, for, for natural gas, they're ramping exponentially, and it is massive deficits looking out there. So if you tie this all together, we are at extreme low valuations. We have extreme leverage to those prices. We can buy at very low valuations and get the leverage and an extreme price move in all of these commodities. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, I think. And Remember, these things are at bottoms and sometimes these companies are going to, they could go bankrupt. Spread it out. Do not put a bunch of money in any one or two or three things. Spread it out. The royalty companies are, they don't go bankrupt. They have like zero risk of this. Those are the ones that I very highly recommend and hold a lot more money in. Look at my other videos for those recommendations. Uh, you can look in the link below. Uh, I'll link all this stuff in the description of this video if you want to watch those and my recommendations for royalty companies, mining companies, and all this stuff. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe, click the thumbs up button, and uh, leave comments. My channel is Finding Value, and thank you for listening.